We just uh, we just came home, and um, uh, I got I got really pissed off kanina do sa isang tricycle driver from uh, doon sa Shopwise. Now, the usual excuse, okay? The usual excuse, kailangan dalawa kaming tricycle, eh samantalang family naman kami. Alright? So, I got so pissed off, I had, so I just walked home. Um, mother and sister ko, sila sumakay sa tricycle. So, what am I driving at here? Hmm? What am I driving at here? I am calling out Pozo. Okay? Kayo ba ang nag-implement ng napaka ng napakagagong batas na yan? Na kahit pamilya, kailangan dalawang tricycle? Hinahamo ko kayo sa isang debate. Alright? I am challenging you. Ngayon, kayong mga tricycle driver, okay, magkabayag naman kayo. Alright? In, sa panahong ito, kailangan na pa malaking bayag mo. Alright? The more you give in to this pandemic, the more it will eat you. Lalo kayong lalamunin ng pandemyang ito. Kaya, well, I said what I said. So, I'm going to finish this statement of mine. San Pedro City has no balls anymore. I'm gonna say my piece regarding um, regarding content creators who would always ask for a payment before before they could uh, before they could talk to you through DM. All right. There are such content creators. I'm not gonna say uh, whether I'm not gonna say the industry they're in, but there are there are content creators who are like that. Now, I said it in uh, in a uh, in a previous video on on my Instagram that uh, charging for chat makes you cheap well up to now it still holds true but in this case simply DM lang right simply DM lang ipagkakaid mo pa sa tao ipagkakaid mo pa sa mga tao you know what Twitter I am here to make friends not be someone else's fan. Hindi lahat ng uh, hindi lahat ng pagkakataon makakapaningil ka para sa content mo. I'm just here, well, I'm just here to make friends. Okay? And of course, speak my mind. If these content creators won't, will not honor that, well, <laughs> it ain't my loss. It ain't my fucking loss. Because, well, number one, I put my content out for free. Alright? Because I know the long-term value of my content. Now, if you're charging already for your content, you're not, uh, you're not seeing its true worth. Kaya, nilalagyan mo na kagad ng presyo. Nilalagyan mo na kagad ng rate. But if you already, uh, if you if you can already get the get a feel of of how the market values your content, that's the time you should charge, right? Eh, kung baguhan ka palang, magsasabi ka na lang ganon. Oh, um, I don't D, I don't DM people unless the um, chuba chenis, masa maniningil na ng content. Eh. We should charge them for her for their content. Again, what ganon? You are, you are not attracting the uh, the people who need uh, who need to uh, what you call this who who want, just want to be friends with you. Okay. Alam mo relationships relationships. Okay, whether it be business or personal, if it's founded on well, simply simple friendship, 
Okay? Sales, profits are easy. Business is easy. Pero kung kagad sisingilin mo kagad yung maniningil ka kagad for your content, aba eh, teka muna. Magmumukha kang needy. Alright? You're needy. Why not? Why not? Why not take it? Why not take take some pointers from me? I put my content out for free. Do I charge? No. <laughs> no. I don't charge because I want to speak my mind out. I want to say my piece. Kaya nga grind, create, say your piece. As in my uh, my Twitter banner says. Kita nyo yan, di ba? Now, if uh, if there are people who like what I'm doing, go ahead, follow me, subscribe me, not subscribe to my channel. I don't mind. You're not serving your true worth. Pag ganyan ang mindset mo, you are not serving your true worth. There's nothing wrong in uh, putting out your content for free. Because if you are thinking long term, well, you know, you know, you're, you, you know deep in your heart that, uh, that your content will pick up in value. And when, it's, and when its value goes up, of course, brands will, you can now attract brands. That's the basic, eh? that's basic promotion, okay? I don't know why people would uh, would charge for their charge for their own content. Only a handful of creators would actually put out their content for free and not charge for that. Because they know, we know the long-term value of uh, of such a strategy. To all content creators who are still charging for their content, you won't last here. Before you know it, well, those paying fans have found someone have found someone else to admire, have found someone else to look to look up to. Did you actually make Did you actually make money? Probably. Did you actually make money after they left you for someone else? I don't think so. So Twitter, here's the lesson. Of Here's my lesson for you. Charging for content makes you cheap. I just attended um, Deepak Chopra's uh, live uh, live stream a moment uh, moments ago here on LinkedIn. All right, he said something about the word "I." Okay. I is the most uh, the most used, the most widely used word in any language. Uh, yun ang sinabi niya. I agree. But there's something I'd like to add to that. The word I is also the used, misused. So, again, the word I is the most misused word in any language. I'll explain. <clears throat> Normally, we would use the word I in uh, more in in more regular but not exactly um, not exactly positive uh, statements like I don't know if I can do it I don't know if I have uh, the courage I am uh, I am not there yet I am not um, I am not that type of influencer yet all right, somewhat um, those statements are somewhat self-derogatory in nature. All right, it won't do you any it won't do you any good character-wise. So, the word "I" should be well should be used more on a positive note, like uh, "I feel great this morning." I am the greatest, as as Muhammad Ali would uh, would immortally put it. Okay. I feel like uh, putting out good content today. I feel like a million dollars today. Ganon, ganon dapat, all right. 
The word I is definitely the most widely used word in any language, but it has to be used in a more positive way. All right? It has to be used in a more educational way, like uh, I'm going. I am going to learn this new thing today. I am going to learn this new social media platform today. I am going to uh, read this new book. At least the first chapters three in today. It should be used in goals. It should be used in. Uh, just, it should be used in funny moments every now and uh, not every now and then, all the time. All right. So the next time you use the word I, use it in a positive manner. Okay. Use it in a positive manner next time, LinkedIn. The word I. This is another entry inspired by uh, by Deepak Chopra's uh, live stream uh, this morning. He said there that um, the body isn't a thing; it's a continuous process. Again, like uh, like my last entry, I agree. Unfortunately, most of us do not treat our body as a process. We just treat it as a plaything. Okay, much worse. Okay, <clears throat> not just the thing, a plaything. We use it to, we use it to cheat on other people. We use it to, to lie to other people. Basically, we even use it to oppress other people. Does culture require us to to use our bodies that way? I don't think so. Okay, I do not think so. I wholeheartedly do not think so. The body is a continuous process. Okay? It is your responsibility now to improve on it, to positively improve on it, especially this. All right? You do not stop learning when you stop when you uh, when you finish school. Nope, far from it. The learning actually stops when you do stop school. I don't know what the um, I don't know what the school system these days uh, is uh, is trying to tell you, but learning doesn't stop. The only time, the the only true time learning will stop is when you die. That's the only time learning your uh, your learning process, the body's learning process will stop. You have a body, that is your responsibility, and you should be you should hold yourself accountable to it. Okay. It's a continue the body is a continuous process, so positively improve on it. Okay. Especially here. Again, especially here. By um by feeding by feeding it with um positive thoughts, educational thoughts. And for the physical body, of course, you have to take care of that. Again, I'm repeating what what I what he said in that uh, in that live stream the body is a continuous process that's all LinkedIn I uh, uh, found it too late already to uh, to put this entry on Instagram but here I am right I encountered a um, post this morning by my mentor Ido Aguilar and he said there that basically to um, basically that you have to see uh, you have to see through the opinion of others where they where they stand um, what is their stand on an issue then well he brought me back to that um that set of uh, what you call this? That um, set of um, wisdom called Murphy's Law. Okay. Murphy's Law says about that is where you stand on an issue depends on where you sit. Well, basically, those two uh, mean that well before you 
before you say something about a person make sure you're well make sure uh, you're authoritative enough to to say something that's either for or against that person and bottom line is no one is no one is in a position to well to criticize someone else unless they've been um, they've been through that they've been through the same kind of life themselves okay so before before you judge take a look at that person's origins origin is a good gauge towards a person's well mindset right? origin is a good gauge of mindset so I'm gonna check that I'm gonna check that out again okay Instagram I've just been an hour removed from doing my usual uh, episode reviews on on Twitch okay there um, there's this scene in episode uh, episode 10 of Decadence that um that really struck me believe you're next to me so if you're on YouTube I'm sure you haven't gotten rid of the video right so let me explain it to you whatever whatever you experienced okay whatever you seen felt heard or come to know basically that is you okay that is you the opinions of others don't matter <laughs> alam mo okay alam mo ang nangyari sa iyo alam mo kung ano ang natutunan mo at alam mo rin kung ano ang gagawin mo sa susunod that is basically it okay no one else can tell you what to do with that experience no one else should tell you what to do with that experience let me be clear on that it's another lesson another life lesson i have um i have learned from an anime okay and that anime is decadence so wow um i never thought i would learn that lesson from from an anime like decadence wherein well your experiences are that valuable okay your experiences are that valuable because no one else can put a value on it except yourself. So, like, uh, like that scene in Decadence said, value it. And, well, I repeat TikTok. Your experiences are of great value. Most especially if you value them yourself. So that's my entry right now, TikTok. To, well, to um, what you call this? To cut it close. All right. Yeah, it's counterproductive. Okay, there's they're they're right on that. But if you're going to look at it from a creative side, excuse me. But if you're going to look at it from a from a creative side. Wow, okay. cutting it close can spell the difference between um, putting out a boring video and putting out a great video. Here's why. You know what? When you're um, doing uh, doing reviews like me, my style is uh, react first, then review later. All my reactions are as close to each other as possible creating one seamless strain of thought okay leading it's a well, not leading building up to the actual review okay now here's the hitch if i leave a um a quite a long gap okay i might lose that viewer 
once uh, and once that uh, video has been uploaded I might lose viewers why because well there's a gap okay people have short attention spans these days so you gotta get rid of those gaps what the hell okay you gotta get rid of those gaps or well it was the shorter the gap the lesser chance of that viewer um, leaving your video or completely stopping your video for another one so cutting it close really matters when it comes to um, when it comes to creativity in content well I well from my experience okay cutting it close is not actually counterproductive all right the grind is um, the grind is there because well you, you got to be very meticulous when it comes to cutting when it comes to taking out those gaps so it's not actually counterproductive right so cutting it close pays when you're creative when you're trying to be creative don't think about um, productivity yet because well when you're cutting it close you are grinding all right it's impossible not to grind when you're not when you're cutting it close so look at it from the perspective of being creative cutting it close pays dividends when it comes to content I don't know why um, <clears throat> why some people would um, would be so gung-ho about their um, intended content but when it comes to their passions they're all chicken shit well you know what the grind is the grind is the same all right if you want to be um good at your passions you'll have to put in the same grind you give as to your work to your business to your um to your intended brand okay never make any excuses about it if it uh, pertains to your passions go for it with go for it using the same grind okay pareho lang yun eh pareho lang yun okay yung yung sipag na binibigay mo sa work business or brand mo when it comes to your passions it's almost at the same it should be at the same level all right it should be at the same level you you can't be well in life generally you can't be half-hearted you cannot be half-assed at anything especially when it comes to your interests and passions all right you may be half-hearted at times so so work so business or so brand more but never to your passions it's what fuels it's what will fuel your sanity right so whether it be your um, your job your business your brand or your passions the grind should be the same so that so that's something you should remember YouTube right the grind should always be the same